Ansar Beit al Maqdis claimed responsibility for most of the bombings in Egypt in recent months. Among them, Friday's deadly attacks in Cairo and last month's deadly attack on a police headquarters in northern city of Mansoura. The government blames the Muslim Brotherhood. Since the ousting of Islamist President Mohamed Morsi, the government has suppressed the Brotherhood and branded it as a terrorist organization. Some security experts agree Morsi's government may have allowed Islamist militancy to flourish. We faced uh, a lot of challenges since the MBs took over uh, the presidential power in Egypt and they, with the presidential declaration, released a lot of terrorists from uh, prisons where, where, where they had been there with uh, uh, verdicts from the courts. So this is when the second they left uh, Sinai Peninsula to the terrorist groups and they accepted the Qaeda to have a, a, a hand there, including what Hamas was doing through the tunnels and, and, and portation of weapons and using this territory as a, a place for uh, development and, and training. Analysts suspect Al-Qaeda influences militant groups in Egypt. Its current leader, Ayman al-Zawahri, is Egyptian and his brother was a strong Morsi supporter. Mohammed al-Zawahri ran an NGO from Cairo's Rab al-Adawaya Mosque, which was to become one of the pro-Morsi camps cleared out by security forces last year. Al-Qaeda's black jihad flags have been seen at pro-Morsi rallies. Whether the Ansar Bayt al are related to uh, uh, Qaeda or not, um, it's, it's a terrorist group and at the end uh, what we need to do is to get rid of these guys from here and, and especially that these guys are working to support the MBs and getting them into power again using the weapons and threatening the Egyptians. The Muslim Brotherhood has condemned the attacks and denied ties with these groups. It has blamed the Interior Ministry for the attacks, saying it wants to scare protesters away from the streets. The Brotherhood vowed to continue, quote, peaceful protests. Al-Qaeda might not have gained more influence in Egypt, but the country has become one of the biggest targets for terrorism since Morsi was ousted. Adel Mahrouhi, CCTV, Cairo.